Hi all, it's Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Uh, back to do another video regarding uh, electrolysis cleaning of metals. I did one recently on um, how to set up your electrolysis tank and showed some demonstrations of it cleaning up um, items like this axe head. Um, works really well on steel, cast iron, uh, ferrous metals. And you can see that's made a very saleable piece out of that collectible Kelly axe head. It was quite rusty before that, you couldn't even read the writing. Um, however, today we're going to concentrate on brass. Uh, I've seen YouTube videos and read that electrolysis doesn't work the same on brass and copper. Some people have claimed it just simply doesn't work. It may be a different electrical process or chemical process. I don't claim to be uh, up with all the technical details, but um, I like to test things for myself. And here's a couple of classic old brass taps that came out of a shed cleanup. Um, quite, you know, aged, um, sort of, you know, they, they're still a functional tap, but the electrolysis will clean them up very well, in my experience. So we'll give uh, one of these a test and just show you how easy it is and how well it works. All right, here's my electrolysis tank. It's a little dirty, it needs cleaning out, but it still works fine. Um, I have the tap here connected to the negative lead of the battery charger uh, with a good electrical connection and uh, hanging off my chain I'll just lower it down into the solution and we'll leave that bubble away for um, a couple of days and then I'll show you what it's uh, what it's done now if you look up the top right hand corner of the screen now I've got a link for uh, instructions on how to set up your own electrical uh, electrolysis tank all right, it's time to check in on this brass tap electrolysis cleaning experiment. Um, it's been in the tank here for around about three days, I think. Just under three. Um, it doesn't look a lot different initially, except for being wet. Uh, but we'll get it into a cleaning tank and see how well it comes up. Okay, let's give this tap a bit of a clean up and see what we've got. First thing we'll notice is that it's got a bit of a darker tinge to it other than just being wet. And if I rub with my finger only, we'll find that it actually polishes it. Now, that shows you that the electrolysis process really does actually get into the surface and start to pull all the old patina and, and tarnish off. Um, so you would never polish a brass tap with your finger that quickly. So I'll attack it now with just a, a little um, steel wool soap pad. I use the soapy ones, you don't have to, but uh, you'll find that with a really quick rub with the water, it brings it up beautiful. So it won't take very long at all to clean. Um, the soapiness I find just helps um, get rid of any oily deposits or anything as well. And you can see that now it's it's cleaning up very quickly uh, and the tap section is also cleaning up easily so i'll finish it off and then give you a look at the finished product and here we have the finished product uh, as compared to the original tap that i showed at the start of the video uh, which i think had a bit of paint over spray now the electrolysis will take paint off beautifully too and so what we have here is a nicely, it's not highly polished, but it's its just nice, I reckon. Uh, and interestingly, it has a, a coppery look. Um, and I find that with most of the brass I clean with electrolysis. Uh, and whilst I'm not a metallurgist, I think uh, because brass is an alloy of copper and zinc, there's a chance that the the electronic trans or the electron transfer uh, might actually remove some of the zinc out of the alloy on the surface at least to leave it with more of a coppery look so if you know more about this than I do please comment in the video um, but regardless of that fact uh, three days in the tank it didn't it doesn't appear to have pitted it or anything I wouldn't leave it much longer I think you'd start to get some degradation of the metal but uh, I reckon that's a fantastic sort of a an antique copper look um, and you know whether you clean things up for your own use or you're restoring machinery or uh, I just clean these brass taps up because it's very little work and, and I can put this in the shop now and easy get ten dollars for it uh, whereas you know a box of old brass taps you you're almost scrap value 
um, you know, or a few dollars each. So, you know, um, it's value adding really, which helps me. So there you go. Um, the myth is busted for those that say that electrolysis doesn't work on copper or, or brass. Uh, copper has a similar effect. Of course, it looks coppery at the end because it is. But um, hopefully you found this useful and, you know, don't just limit your electrolysis cleaning to, uh, to steel or iron. Alrighty, thanks for watching.